Hello folks, welcome to Lester's Custom Truck Shop. Tim J in Louisiana. This is going to be your LC998 V800. Wanted to show you the Toshibos before I got them put in. Uh, you know, I've already got the uh, heat sink compound out of the screw holes. I don't want them hydraulicing on us. So those are out. Uh, I'm getting ready to install these. Some more to come. Okay, Tim, got the Toshibas in there. All soldered in, screwed down, ready to go. You, I cleaned out the holes. You, what you do, you set them in there. You tighten the screws, at, like from the middle towards the outside. Uh, you do these two first and then these two and then so on and so forth okay and that way that uh, hopefully prevents any hydraulicing underneath them and uh, then I have to use a, a pretty big soldering iron to uh, solder the ground uh, leads and then uh, do the rest of them make sure I got good penetration all the way to the board runs Okay, more to come. Okay, got the feedback boards installed. Got the power wires all soldered back in. Got the antenna connector uh, coax soldered back in. Getting ready to hook it up now and try it out. Okay, Tim, got it put together. Uh, let's see, it's on channel one. Let's go to channel 20. Hard to turn that little stub with one hand. Don't want to put the knobs back on there yet because I want to make sure that that decal cures. Okay, I got a 500 watt slug on the left. I have a 1000 watt slug on the right. I'm running off my new 75 amp uh, MFJ power supply. The meter on the left. Uh, is volts meter on the right is amperage okay over there where the red is that's 80 watts so halfway between the 60 and 80 is where this power supply is uh, where it's at its maximum audio audio one two one two audio and we are audio we're at 80 amps Audio over 800 watts. So the power supply is maxing out before the radio does. Uh, damn. But anyway, you, you get a pretty good idea of how powerful this radio is. That was lower sideband. Let me get to AM. Let's check AM real quick. Hello audio, audio one two, one two audio, 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 audio. That's 900 watts right there and did my power supply just quit. No, it didn't. Okay. Audio, 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 audio. It ain't holding up. Audio. Still we're getting 900 watts. Peak. That's peak 900 watts for all you naysayers. And let's see. Back on sideband. What was the uh, what was the amperage? Audio. All right, this amperage is pegging out the power supply. It, the power supply. It says 75 amps. And we're hitting the 80 amp spot over there with the needle. So I'm pretty sure that's where it quits. I just can't supply any more amps. And I have stored the other power supplies because they weren't in a case. I figured, well, 75 amps should be plenty. But apparently I was wrong. So let's see. I wonder what happens if I crank it on up to 15 volts. Hmm. 
I'm just playing here. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio one, two. I was low, lower side bands, go back to AM. Audio one, two, one, two, audio, there we go. Okay, that's 14, 9, 15 oh, volts. Let's see. Yeah, 15, 15 point zero seven two so you get about the same probably around fourteen eight maybe just a little bit less hello audio audio one two one two audio now we're getting that audio we're getting that because the short power cable I got going to the amp or to the power supply okay uh, if you're going to be running at any distance you probably should have upgraded to the 4AWG but uh, we're getting a hell of a lot of power out of it that's a 500 watt slug on that side audio so we're reading on that center scale audio a little over 500 RMS and this meter was recently calibrated okay so it's been calibrated this year in the last eh, I would say six months when was that oh in March okay it was calibrated in March so pretty sure it's still accurate all right okay let me get to putting it back together the amplifier is working great I'll tell you the red dots, any of the Toshibas, even just the standard Toshibas without the red dot, the last ones I got, they're doing, you know, a phenomenal amount of power. The Hagus get close, but the Toshibas still got them beat, but these Toshibas are about to become totally extinct haven't been able to find any more real Toshibas uh, but I'm on the lookout if you guys find any let me know the real ones are getting freaking expensive I'll watch my language there in case there's kids or wives watching this but the uh, the real Toshibas are getting close to $100 a piece now which is ridiculous for a transistor all right more to come okay tim let me show you the the upgrades I upgraded your voltage regulator buffer filter from a 1000 to a 3300 same with the din dc uh input uh, buffer filter I upgraded it from a 1000 to a 3300 not much room for anything bigger I upgraded your first rf amp to a 2sc2999 Okay, and um, uh, I've switched to crystal filters for this 10.7 IF filter. Uh, I think they're a little tighter than what the ceramic filters are. I mean, I still got ceramic filters, and I'm going to use those, but like on the high-end radios like yours, I'm switching to crystal filters for that 10.7 IF. Uh, I think it's a little tighter than the other ones, but uh, there's the the uh, S meter. Well, you can't see it because the camera washes us washes out the blue. Damn it. Okay, but it's an S9, and I think you're gonna like that tight filter. Okay, this switch is your amp switch. This switch is your uh, high cut. I'll show you all that once I get it all uh, dressed up, the wires all tied up and everything, and I'll uh, get it put back together. Okay, I'm going to let the decal set up overnight uh, while it's doing the burning in before I put the knobs back in it, and uh, see how it comes out. Okay, more to come. Okay, I got the uh, switches labeled in the back. 
getting ready to put the knobs on in the front. And it passed the 24-hour uh, burn-in test with flying colors. So, putting it all back together now. More to come. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's see, high cut. Right now, high cut's off. High cut on. Big, big difference. High cut off. High cut on. Okay, the switch closest to the heat sink is your amp switch. Okay. With both bats down, they're both off. With a bat up, like that, you know, it, it, the switch is on. Okay, so to turn your amp on, the switch closest to the heat sink, you pull it up. All right. Okay. Hello, audio, audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two. Hello audio, audio one, two, one, two, audio. Let's see, what are we in? We're in sideband, let's go to AM. Hello audio, 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 hello, hello, audio. Audio, hello, hello, audio. It's actually pulling the amperage back. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio, audio, hello, hello, audio. Whoops. Pop the circuit breaker. <laughs> it didn't like that. All right. Well, at least I know the circuit breaker works. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I see right now I'm going to have to get a, a uh, higher current connection run up here. Uh, I don't know how much the power supply pulls when that when it hits 80 amps like that. It's probably like 25, 20, 25 amps. And it popped the circuit breaker. I had to go down and reset the circuit breaker, but there it is. Son of a bitch screams. Alright, let me hook it up to an outside antenna. I'll be right back. Okay. Skip is hopping. Let's see. Try not to pop the circuit breaker again. 102 Florida is on the side. CQ, CQDX, 102 calling CQ and staying by. Well, I thought I heard somebody answering me, but. All right, okay, I think that's gonna do it. Tim, I sure hope you enjoy your new radio. It was my pleasure to build it for you. 7-3, everybody. Uh, Alvin, are you still there? No, I, I got some noise around here. Every now and then it spikes and gets really loud there, Roger. Roger that. Ivan, are you in West Virginia or Virginia? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. 
All right. Well, you heard Brian this morning. That sounds like Brian. Roger on the two watt walkie talkie. Well, you and I have been are about the same there on signal strength. Both of you's got really good audio coming down here. Roger that. Well, uh, I think I know what kind of radio you're talking on. I don't know what Ivan's talking on though. But anyway, I, I don't want to tie up the channel and interrupt you guys' conversation. I just I just heard Ivan in there and thought I'd jump in there and say good morning. Roger that, buddy. Roger that. All right, y'all have a good one up there in Virginia. 102 down here in Florida, we'll be sandbagging. Okay. Oh. Uh, Got the 4AWG cable hooked up to it, and you just heard the test. Me talking to Virginia now. I got the mic gain set about 11:30, 12 o'clock. You're gonna want to run it right around there, especially when you're running the amplifier. You got the amplifier cut off, it'd, it'd be all right to run it wide open as long as it it's not distorting, but. Uh, it, it uh, really drives the radio hard when you turn it up. And uh, I got your SL41 all set up. So, all right. Let me uh, go put it back together. And, uh, well, there, anyway, there's your, there's your 4AWG cable coming out of there. All right, let me put it back together. You know, those boys up there in Virginia got some good sounding radios. Sure do. All right. Uh, it's ready. So let's do a little test. Okay. Tim and Cody got her all put back together. Uh, that's where I had the mic set. And let's see. I got a 500 watt slug on that side. 1,000 on that side. Uh, we're reading on that bottom scale there, 100 is 1,000. That's the peak. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio. And on this scale, we're reading on the center scale. I got a 500 watt slug in there. This is our RMS side. I'm on sideband. Audio. Let's see what the current is. Audio. 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 Sorry, I can't keep my voice steady. Let's see. Maybe if I whistle. Them. There we go. About 70 amps, 69, 70 amps. Okay. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio one, two. Right. Now that was just, you know, when I was talking to them, I was, talk I was on this microphone. So, um, I checked the echo, check that. Uh, all right, you're good to go. Course moves transmit and receive. Fine moves receive. Okay, only. All right, got the new power cable added to it. 
Uh, I got your SL41 microphone set aside. Didn't want to open the box up. But uh, there it is. Okay, once again, Tim, I sure hope you enjoy your new radio. It's my pleasure to build it for you. 7-3, everybody.